Kathleen Shine's novel, They May Not Mean To, But They Do, is a poignant and honest portrayal of the complexities and challenges of family relationships, particularly in the face of aging and illness. The novel explores the themes of loss, grief, and the bonds of family, and is a testament to Shine's skill as a writer. The novel centers around Joy Bergman, an 86-year-old widow who is struggling to cope with the gradual decline of her health and independence. Joy's children, Molly and Daniel, are both successful and accomplished professionals, but their relationship with their mother is strained, and they struggle to reconcile their love for her with the difficulties of caring for an aging parent. The novel is divided into three parts, each of which focuses on a different aspect of the Bergman family's journey. In the first part, Shine sets the stage for the novel, introducing us to Joy and her family, and highlighting the challenges they face as Joy's health begins to decline. Through Shine's vivid and insightful prose, we get a sense of the complex dynamics that exist between Joy and her children, as well as the conflicting emotions that they all feel as they navigate this difficult time. In the second part of the novel, Shine explores the theme of loss and grief, as Joy's health continues to deteriorate and her family begins to prepare for the end of her life. Shine's depiction of the emotional toll that this process takes on Joy and her family is both powerful and heartbreaking, and she does an excellent job of capturing the complex mix of emotions that they all experience. From Joy's own fears and anxieties about death, to Molly and Daniel's conflicting feelings of love, guilt, and resentment, Shine paints a vivid and nuanced portrait of a family in crisis. The final part of the novel focuses on the aftermath of Joy's death, as Molly and Daniel struggle to come to terms with their loss and find a way to move forward. Shine's portrayal of grief and the mourning process is deeply moving and insightful, and she does an excellent job of showing how each character copes with their loss in their own way. From Molly's attempts to keep busy and distract herself from her pain, to Daniel's efforts to connect with his own children and forge a deeper bond with them, Shine shows how grief can bring people together even as it threatens to tear them apart. One of the things that makes, they may not mean to, but they do, such a powerful and effective novel is Shine's skill as a writer. Her prose is clear and evocative, and she does an excellent job of capturing the nuances of family relationships and the emotions that they evoke. Shine also has a keen eye for detail, and she uses this to great effect in her depiction of the Bergman family and their journey. Overall, they may not mean to, but they do, is a deeply moving and insightful novel that explores the complexities and challenges of family relationships with honesty and compassion. Shine's skill as a writer shines through on every page, and her portrayal of Joy, Molly, and Daniel is both nuanced and compelling. This is a novel that will resonate with anyone who has ever struggled with the difficulties of caring for an aging parent, and it is a testament to the power of family and the enduring bonds that hold us together even in the face of loss and grief.